talking about the penis and nothing in this world can come in between us. For all of our fans from Mars to Venus. It's the Patrick and Scott Show. Hello and welcome to the Patrick and Scott Show, starring Patrick and Scott. That is right. So, how are you doing today, Patrick? <laughs> Good, Scott. What you been up to? It's been two weeks. Yes, it's been two weeks of people wishing they could hear the Patrick and Scott Show, but it's not there. Not there for them to love. It's not there at all. Yeah. Nobody there to make them laugh. Or make them cry. Or teach them all the reasons why. And people people need someone to make them laugh. Cause, well, make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, my dad said be an actor, my son. But be a comical one, they'll be standing in line. For that old monkey dunk monkey shine. Now you can study Shakespeare and be quite elite. And you can charm the critics and have nothing to eat. But slip on a banana peel, the world's at your feet. Make them laugh, make, make them laugh, laugh, make them laugh! <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, if you like our show, tell us in the comments. And if you don't like our show, tell, tell us, us in, in the, the comments. comments. And also fuck you. Yeah, fuck you very, very much. And also, um... God, am I sexy. Well, we already knew that, Patrick. Come on. <laughs> I am just so perfect in every way. It's unbelievable. Anyway. It is simply unbelievable. I expected you to say simply fabulous. It's simply fabulous. You always used to say that. And then you stopped, and then you were like, Oh! Big news for, uh, for this week. This is the last episode of the Patrick and Scott Show. Where forever! I'm, just kidding. Not forever, but just the last one where our famous 19 joke will work. That me and Scott are both 19, and our birthdays are 19 days apart. Because by the time the next episode after this one airs, it will be the day after my 20th birthday. That's true, it will be the day after your 20th birthday. Uh, we're getting old. I don't want to be old, Scott. I don't like old people. They're, they're, they're not young enough. Well, one day we'll be able to get through this, Patrick. Just remember, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. <laughs> we'll get through it. <laughs> Maybe. Now yeah, we're probably not going to get through it. We're good. But on the bright side, we're white. Just remember that. We're white. Which means we're going to succeed. You know what they say about racist jokes, Scott? They're really funny. <laughs> Perhaps. But also, whenever you tell a racist joke, a camel has sex with another camel. That's true. It does. Damn camels. Every time you tell a racist joke, Scott, a camel has sex with another camel. How's that make you feel? Not bad. Well, anyway, all racism aside, we, me and Scott are going to, Scott, 19 days later, will also turn 20. Much later. And uh, we're going to uh, and, uh, start a murderous rampage. Speaking of murder. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of murder, yeah, but. 
The murder mystery. The murder mystery. The World of Players murder mystery is going to be on April 27th at Carrie Serino's Ristorante. Tickets will be $30. Did you just say restaurant? No, it's really? fancy. It's Ristorante. <laughs> Tickets are $30, and you can get them by going to royaltyplayers.com. You can uh, check the email or call the box office that's listed there. Uh, I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but the email is admin at royaltyplayers.com. Uh, you can see all of the shows we've done in the past. And, see and if you don't live up. in the area, you can just get really mad and then leave a comment that says, Thank you for being a dildo. Or thank you for being dildos, Patrick and Scott. We're both going to be uh, 20 pretty soon. Yeah, it's going to be... Into our third decade of life, and... We're going to be old as shit. What was it like, um... The, Being a child? Uh, yes. Let me tell you. I, uh, no, oh, I Scott, hey, know. Scott, isn't your uh, girlfriend going to be 18, too, on my birthday? Mm-hmm, she's going to be 18 on your birthday, Patrick. Which is just dandy. Don't you agree? It's just dandy. You know, I always wanted to date someone that had the same birthday as me, but I, I couldn't find someone who did. What about, what, what about your ex-wife, Pinkie Pie, Scott? Well, Pinkie Pie, you see, she was nice, but she was also kind of psycho. Uh, I, you know, she had her ups and her downs, and she gave me some ups, and she gave me some downs. So, you see, everything well, in Pinkie life Pie has was benefits. Pinkie Pie a nice girl, Scott. Well, she was nice, but she partied so hard I just got tired, and I can't handle that much partying or else I'll poop myself. I don't want to deal with all that. It's so hard. It's so hard, and not even in a fun boner way. It's just hard. Just so, oh my good golly gosh, hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, hard. Yes, make an erection. Around... Uh, <laughs> Communalism? Yes, communist embolisms. Cannibalism, Scott. We've been over this. But <laughs> what do you, you... Then you thought you would date someone with the same birthday as me, because... Well, I'd be that, able to remember that, too. Yeah. All your favorite people have the same birthday, see? Exactly. And you know what? Keeping it simple is great. <laughs> you know why? Because it makes me not have to remember anything. And if it makes it easy for me, it makes it easy for everyone. Because then I don't have to kill people. I mean, nothing. What? You heard nothing. I don't know. Oh, no. Yes. John Lennon's wife. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Yoko. Yoko Ono. Yeah. Here she was John Lennon's wife. Until she killed him. After he dumped his real wife and left his son in poverty. Which is the only way to really do it these days, you know what I mean? <laughs> he influenced many of that generation to do the same thing. And that's what matters. <laughs> uh, that's what you're supposed to do. Worth it. Scott, we need to... We need to explain to people how we are, are the good generation. What do you mean? Generation Y, which is short for generation. Why would anyone think there could be a better generation? Well, that's true. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's what it means, generation Y. Generation, why would anyone think there could be a better generation? <laughs> oh, Patrick, you're so silly. <laughs> And then, then there's Generation Z, which is Z because it's the last generation before the apocalypse. Anyway, <laughs> although actually that's not entirely true because from an astrological standpoint, Generation Z is already over. Anyway. Yeah, but who cares about astrology? I mean, come on. Oh, many people, Scott. Yes, but I'm not a witch, so I can't care about it. Scott, which are you talking about? You, you mean... Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm talking about uh, those, the ones who travel in covens. Scott, witchcraft is uh, what you was... What did... I, I don't even follow your train of thought. Anyway, uh, speaking of... Let's see, what, what can we talk about? Uh, 
Oh, people born on uh, my birthday. There's not a lot of uh, people born on my birthday. I, I, I was well, born. You were birthday. born on your birthday. Yeah, I was born on my birthday. Booker T. Washington was born on my birthday. Thomas Hobbes was born on my birthday. Um, Wasn't he a philosopher? Yeah, he was the. Remember Hobbes and Locke. The... I remember Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> which were both named after uh, philosophers. Cal John Calvin. John Calvin and, and uh, Thomas Hobbes. Hobbes. Yeah, but that was. But I mean, like, there's a lot of like, like my mother has the same birthday as President Reagan. Yes, she does. And Dan Balan, actually. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> but, uh... Not anybody important have your birthday? Um, my mother. And she's the most important person in the world. Now is the worst gift you can ever receive on a birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Here's painful childbearing. Well, well, don't think about my grandmother Christmas, you know. Yeah, that really my, my, sucks. My, my, my father was born on uh, on Christmas. You know, that's 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 really a horrible, horrible time to have your birthday because honestly, if your birthday's on Christmas, you don't really have a birthday, do you? Hey, happy birthday, Merry Christmas! Here you get the same amount of gifts as everyone else. You got nothing special. Ha <laughs> ha! You suck. So really, like, you don't get crap. It really sucks. Balls, and not even in like the the fun way where you know it's a happy time, just like in a <laughs> horrible way where it's just like, oh, get the fuck balls for you, uh -huh. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, you um, uh, that's pretty terrible. You had a birthday on Easter last year. Though. Yeah, that kind of sucked. My birthday was on Easter last year, so anyone who cares enough to you know look online and see when that was, uh. My birthday, I believe, will be on Easter in, like, 2015. Well, one day it will. Or something like that. But the, uh, my sister, I think, has the same birthday as, like, Stalin. Well, that makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what? But, uh, there, uh, so many interesting things happened this week in the news, Patrick. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. I, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. What? Of course we knew. I mean, don't be ridiculous. We know everything. We know what you're doing right now. Stop touching yourself. Not you, Patrick. You can continue. But you out there, stop touching yourself. You know who you are, you son of a bitch. And I... No, not you. Not you on. The, not you over there. You, you keep it up. Yeah, you keep going. It's cool. I mean, <laughs> you're you're doing pretty good. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You're doing. And, uh, yeah, but the. Oh, I, the guy's making like that weird face. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, he's making the weird face because he's really getting too much into it. I mean, I, mean, I don't blame him, but uh. Okay. Not the time. Not the time for this. <laughs> okay, wait. But, uh... The, the point is... That... If you're gonna touch many, yourself... Many interesting things... You gotta fill in. Oh, that's a law. Anyway, many interesting things happen, such as Obama has a bigger dick than you. You're just he's, mad because he's black. He's, he's, he's talking to you guys, not to me. Yeah, clearly, because we have, our dicks are roughly the size. Have you ever seen uh, uh, the Washington Monument? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Basically, the Washington Monument <laughs> is the size of a fourth of Obama's dick. I mean, that's a joke about Family Guy. No, 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 no. The, no, the, the Obama monument. The Obama monument was only like, two, oh, not even twice as big. Was he? Oh, whatever. But the point is that many people have birthdays at interesting times. Who else? Who else do we know with uh, an important birthday? Hmm. 
Who else has it? Front birthday, let's see. I can't think on the top of my head. It's a hard question. Why do you have to give me hard questions, Patrick? <laughs> oh, Pia was born the same day the French Revolution started. Maybe she ended it. She... But think about it. She also likes tennis. Tennis court hope. She is the French Revolution, and we just don't know it. Wait, she is the French Revolution? Yes. There's so many things we just don't understand, Scott. For example, why is Easter celebrated on a different day every year? Oh, well, that's because they can't remember when it was. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that really were the reason. Some days, some years. Actually, I've never had a birthday on Easter so far. So far, but it's going to happen. I will have one, I think, when I'm like 23. I think, like, I looked it up and, like, April 5th will be. See, I was. You just gave your birthday! Are we not supposed to? I don't know. Yours is April 24th. No! His birthday's April 24th. His birthday's April 5th. Send us birthday presents. Yes, send us birthday presents. You should. Wish us a happy birthday, don't. You, you love me and Scott. You know you do. Send us gifts. Can someone send me a package of condoms? I'm out. See? You should just care about us. Because I can't afford health care and I can't afford my own condoms. That's just sad, Scott. I know. What's that? You're a woman and you, wanna, you, you want uh, preventative care for birth control? You are! I'm sorry, I just wanted to be Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> Speaking of uh, people who are uh, health care... Uh, deprived. The Supreme Court is ruling on whether those people should be forced to buy things they can't afford. Why do they have so many so many what? You can't leave me in the dark like this. That reminds me again. We, we we need to do a meatloaf episode. Yeah, we do need to do a meatloaf episode, but shouldn't it wait until the day that we have meatloaf for dinner? And then we can say, now that we've had meatloaf, let's, let's have, have meatloaf. some meatloaf. Yeah, <laughs> meat now that we've had some meatloaf, let's have some more meatloaf. <laughs> hey, you know I'm a DeviantArt? Like, where it's... Uh, yeah. If they they have, like, those blog posts you can do where, it, where it's, like, you can say, watching, listening to, eating, and, like, all that stuff, you would put, like, eating meatloaf, listening to meatloaf. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. If there was a if there was a book called meatloaf, is there a book called meatloaf? There should be if there's not. We could put that to it, it could be like, meatloaf, 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 but they mean different things every time, <laughs> like, they, you see what I mean? That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> we should do that. <laughs> that would be funny. Do you have a DeviantArt? I haven't used it for a very long time, but I think I still have one. Got to find that. It's been a while. Oh, and speaking of which, speaking of websites, me and Scott maintain we're starting our own Patrick and Scott show website. It should be coming out very soon. Mm -hmm. Which is at you're going to get mad at us when we say this. Patrick and, and Scott, Scott lost, lost the game. game dot TK. TK. I lost the game. Damn it, <laughs> Patrick. You're a bastard. <laughs> Yo, come on, Scott. You lost now, and you have to say it. I lost the game. <laughs> uh, okay. Fuck. Any who. Any whore. Every whore. What are we going to... Aren't we talking about... We were talking about a lot of things. We got on a different... Diff a lot of different... We always get on a lot of different tangents. <laughs> but... No... <sighs> Isn't that sad? Anyway. I find it to be splurblacious. It, it, it's very dangerous feelings break out my soul. It's just the, the meaning of being alone. alone. I, I, I love you. I need you now wherever, wherever you, you are. are. I need you here, here to, to take, take me, me so, so far. far. Uh, or I think it's here wherever you are. I need you now. Yeah, but I want to run like the speed of a sound. 
I was somewhere, and I'm sure you're around. And I don't think she means literally run like the speed of a sound. I think she means the speed of sound, but she was foreign, so she had to try and make it work. Dad, are you offending Ina's character? <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to rock you Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. They're not Amadeus, Romanian, Amadeus, they're Amadeus. German. Amadeus, uh, I'm sure they tried to kill them at one point. Amadeus, Amadeus, Romania, the Nazis tried to kill Ro them. Ro Romania and Germany were both on the Axis side. Forever? Well, during World War II. The whole time? Yes, the whole time. Well, at the beginning, they were, ne they were never on uh, our side. They were, they were eventually occupied, like Romania, Bulgaria, all those countries were like, fascist powers, so the Soviet Union came in and occupied them, and that's how they became communist. And that's the story of Christmas. <laughs> I don't see how that's the story of Christmas. It's the story of Christmas! Interestingly enough, did you know I'm, uh, the, uh, what the fuck am I trying to say here? The, uh, Soviet Union would celebrate New Year's instead of Christmas. I mean, we celebrate New Year's. No, but they would celebrate New Year's like the... We celebrate it as a kind of, like, federal holiday, like, not as much of a... Like, they, that would be their, like, that's, major... That's essentially their Christmas. Yeah, like, they celebrate, like... They're like, yay, let's drink more than we normally do. <laughs> yeah, because they, like... Because it, it was, like, illegal to celebrate Christmas because... Communism. You can't celebrate a religious... Couldn't celebrate the, a religious festival like that. Because of the state atheism. So they celebrated... New Year's, and they had, they put up New Year's trees, and they had Grandfather Frost, that was, that's like what they call Santa. Damn communists. <laughs> Are we going to go on about the news of, uh, like, the presidents and stuff? <laughs> or? I don't know, are we? I think it's a good idea to go on about that. Those four, those four guys, who, who, one of whom is going to be our next president, and that other that other one, who... You mean the black guy? Yeah, the, the, the one who... But, but, but not, the, not the good black guy, not the 999 guy. The, 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 the other one, the... Uh, <laughs> As you can probably tell, I am... Um, a supporter of the Republican Party. No. <laughs> There's no way, Patrick. There's two sides in politics, Scott. The right one and the one that's left. The r We've got uh, Ron Paul and Rick Santorum and Newt Gingrich. All trying out for the Republican nomination. Patrick, Patrick. You know, Romney? No. Oh, I, why don't you leave out Romney? Didn't you hear me? I said Ron Paul and Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum. Why would you leave out Romney? <laughs> if anything, you should leave out the anal seepage man. Santorum? Yeah. He's anal seepage. Or Newt Gingrich because, you know, he's a, you know, you should never trust, you know, a cold-blooded individual. And by that, I don't mean that he's a bad person. I mean that he is a lizard. <laughs> Salamander, a newt to be more specific. But, uh, and, uh, and, and as uh, for Paul, I like Paul. And Romney he's, he's isn't a bad he, guy. Romney's just, he's, he's one of those guys that's so rich he doesn't understand how the world works. He's a man. For everyone else. He's one of those guys the that's The poor so, have yeah. no bread, then let them eat cake. Exactly. <laughs> he's, he's one of those people that's, that's so rich that he doesn't understand how the outside world works anymore. You know what I mean? Where he might have come from a different stock before, where, you know, <laughs> he's not, he, I think, wasn't he born into a rich family? Yeah, I think he, he might have been, yeah. because I do know that his father was like a politician or something. But, uh, I don't know. If I, ha if I had to choose a Republican, I'd choose Ron Paul. So, do you, like, prefer Obama, or? I prefer, oh, okay, let's put it this way. I like Ron Paul's views, but there's no way he's ever going to get elected. You get it? Like, at this point, he, he's not. I really wish he would. He, he could get elected if he won every primary after the, today, probably. Maybe. And, what, and maybe, maybe if, like, Romney and Santorum or something are really close, they'll be like, oh, 
shit, what do we do? We have to come up with some kind of solution and then put Paul in. Well, I guess that's true, but... Yeah. I I I kind of I just wish Paul could have done it because because you know me I'm independent I I could care less if they're either a Democrat or Republican as long as they can get the job done and do it in the way I think they should be doing it you know what I mean Yeah, well, Ron Paul is thinks a lot like uh, like you know like Jefferson or one of those guys would think so like back in the day like he's like he. He's more for uh, gay rights and stuff like that. Yeah, he's for like you know, he, he's in general is just for like freedoms. Yeah, freedom. He well, it's like and some Ron Paul believes that you need to have the freedom to make your own decisions as long as they don't hurt other people. Which is a, a very good. Like, way For to example, look at it. if you're if you're gay, you you both have chosen a gay lifestyle. Nobody gets hurt by that. Yeah, you don't. And no one's going to get hurt. Gun control. He opposes. Gay. He opposes drug laws. He opposes like things that are just interfering in other people's lives. Unless, like, for example, like he's pro-life. Like, if it hurts someone else, he says there needs to be laws to prevent it. But like other things, like drug that, laws and yeah, it, other things, you just like, well, we don't need this. You know what I mean? And that's why a lot of people like Ron Paul. He he's he's a very laid back Republican. He's one that he, he seems to care about everyone instead of just a certain group of people, which you don't always see from the Republican Party. You gotta admit, usually it's like these are the right people, everyone else can go to hell because they are. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to mean the Republican Party, but that just seems to be, have been the way they've, you know, putting themselves out lately. Especially Santorum. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I like seeing a guy that will do these kind of things. It, it makes me feel really good that there can be people that that truly care about, you know, everyone and not just their general demographic. Because that's what a president's supposed to do. They're supposed to care about everyone and try and make it the best for everyone, not just certain groups the, of people. Uh, the joke they have now is they say the presidents never stop campaigning. Campaigning, sorry, campaigning. <laughs> they do never stop campaigning. Anyway, Ben, did you hear the uh, Did you hear the one about the president who died? No, I did not. What, what is the one about the president that died? There once was a president who died, and he, he got to the gates of heaven, and they were like, well, we're going to have you spend one day in heaven and one day in hell and tell us where you want to go. And he's like, no, really, it's, it's not necessary. I'll go, I'll go to heaven. And he's like, no, 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 you have to spend one day in heaven and one day in hell and tell us where you want to go. So then he spent a day in heaven, and it, it was nice. But then he went to hell, and it was, like, just wonderful. And he was like, wow, hell sure is great. And everything was wonderful and great and such in hell and then he he went up to heaven and they were like okay where do you want to go and he's like well heaven seems nice but i think i'll go to hell so then he went to hell and then it was how you'd expect it to be and they were like what why is it like this i i, I just don't get it it was supposed to be like great and it was wonderful the last time i came here and the, the devil said well yesterday we were campaigning today you voted for us <laughs> that's a good story <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time for an all-new... Mac and Bacardi. Mac and Bacardi! If you don't like the government fucking with you on every possible issue, you're gonna enjoy this. So, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and uh, in case you didn't know, there's a serious issue going around right now. It's called a uh, penis. All right. This is an important new mission. What's it about? Well, these people in San Francisco passed the law. They want to make sure that kids... Don't eat those happy meals!
But then I can't get my little pony toys. Yeah. Son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill him. Let's go! Let's get him! Let's get him! Let's get him now! Wait, wait. What? Aren't we supposed to be enforcing the law? Yes, I'm gonna stop them from doing it. By killing them. You want them... By killing... By killing kids? No. By killing the stupid legislators who think they can rule our lives by saying we can't have Happy Meals at McDonald's because that's a communist idea. I must say it's a communist idea and in my America you can have toys and Happy Meals and you can have Happy Meals because that is what my America is about. The freedom to play with My Little Pony toys from McDonald's and the Transformers ones if you're boring. So we're going to go forth and we're going to take them and we're somebody going to kill me. them. Some, so somebody throw water at me or something. Get me up! Get me up! Don't worry. You'll be very up when we see those My Little Pony toys. That would make me a very disturbed individual. Why am I all of a sudden talking with a British accent? I don't know, but I think it's time that we go out there and stop these sons of bitches. Alright, whatever. I mean, we have nothing else to do. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, that was an uneventful plane ride. Yes. Wait, why were we taking a plane when we were already in California? Well... You see, the problem was, we weren't at the proper city. We were in Los Angeles. Yes. Couldn't we just have driven to San Francisco? Well, yes, but I wanted to stop and get to the McDonald's inside the airport because I wanted to get the toys while I could still get them here before I get them over there. Because you never know, they could have a different one. You're right. Got to but think they're not about allowed to have toys here because it's San Francisco and it's illegal to have Happy Meals. Oh, don't worry. Give it about... Five minutes, they'll change their minds. So now we will march upon San Francisco and we will tell them what's on my mind. And I will kill them or they will surrender. And I still might kill them after. So, let's have a nice, friendly conversation with them. Hello there, Mr. Congressman! Why, hello. Well, that's strange. Why are you British, Mr. Congressman? I am not British. I am a congressman. Well, I guess I'll I have you. a lot of money, so I talk like this. Well, I guess that makes sense. You son of a bitch, why would you take away toys from Happy Meals? Because the government is more suited than you are to decide what your kids should eat. You know what? I mean, you wouldn't want to upset Michelle Obama by eating something delicious, would you? Well, last time I checked, uh, she's not the president, she's just the first lady, and that's just a symbolic position so uh, she can suck my knob while I play with my My Little Pony toys that I will be getting from McDonald's. So, uh, if you have nothing better to say, you hear this nice pretty music playing in the background. That's the music for voting your demise. If is you that the your song mind. from Willy Wonka? No, it's not. It sounds a little I like use it. knives to cut you like a bitch. Well, I would not listen to your lower class music. I am enforcing the will of Michelle Obama. Oh, so I have to go to Michelle Obama to resolve this dispute? Michelle Obama does not like to speak to. Your kind. My kind? I have full sovereign authority to enforce any law I see fit, or to stop any law I see fit. Thank you, Zopa. So, uh, unless you have any further things to say, I'm going to kill you. I have further things to say. I swear to God, if you start filibustering like you damn politicians do, you will die even more painfully. Don't you think that it's wrong to reward kids for being happy. Am I a kid? You are. Do I like Happy Meals? You, you stole like my happy? rights as a human being. 
I, you will I, die. I, I don't think that you will really understand. I don't think you understand. Not, uh, you take away the joy of children and me. I am being controlled by a robot. What robot? What robot? Is it a Michelle Obama controlled robot? I believe that you are being very uninformed. What do you mean I'm being uninformed? You're trying to inform me! I'm trying to inform you because you're uninformed. Then tell me! I feel that it is my duty to tell you. Then tell me this instant or I else I'll blow your I absolutely brains out. I must tell you. I must tell you. If you filibuster one more time, <laughs> I will happily blow your brains out. So, who should I go to to stop this? It's already stopped. So I can go to McDonald's and get a Happy Meal right now? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Senator. It's been a pleasure working with you, and I, I guess I'll just have to... <laughs> well, looks like a job well done. But, uh, okay, we better go... Ah! Whoa, my God, what just happened? I fell through a trap door. A trap door? How could you? Michelle Obama, are you watching? Are you watching, you son of a bitch? Remember, America, Michelle Obama is watching you. Oh, my God, she's so scary. She sounds like a white male between the ages of 19 and 23. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's goddamn terrifying. Everyone save us from Michelle Obama! Ron Paul 2012! Ron Paul 2012! Okay, hey, welcome, welcome back, back to the Patrick and Scott, Scott Show, starring, starring Patrick, Patrick and Scott, Scott and Ron and Paul. Paul. <laughs> 2012. Oh, I got you. <laughs> oh, you think you got me. But anyway... Damn right I got you. Since we've done something very long... Giggity. Very long, like... Giggity. My dick around. Sexy. Dominatrixes. Around it, them? That's just weird. It's like a rope. It's... It, yeah, because they're so fly like you do it. Like My dick like is like 234 centimeters. The Robo Ray! Uh, I'm back. Ponies, I like them. Ponies. Now we know it's scat. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> here... We, we, now... So you can enjoy the sound of music. The hills are alive with the sound of music. With songs they have sung for a thousand years. Anyway, the, the point is, this is all over the place. Business cards of famous people. Yes. You ready to hear this song? Oh, I am ready. Okay. All over the place, business cards of famous people. Under the record label, Penis.
Hello, welcome, welcome back, back to, to the Patrick, Patrick and Scott, Scott Show, starring Patrick, Patrick and, and Scott. Scott. Ron Paul 2012. Oh! oh God, stop it, stop! Well, as we all know, 2012 has started off to be a really nice year. And we all know it's supposed to be... Hello? What the fuck are you doing? Um... Seamus? I thought Is I that you? Seamus! I thought, I thought we had got a restraining order against you. Oh, well, no, you didn't, you dumb fuckers. I am back, and I'm here to say... I'm going to fucking rape your ears with my voice. Let me tell you a thing or two. Back in my day, there was the potato famine. That's right. We could barely survive, because as you know, Irish people only make corned beef and potatoes. And with half our food supply gone, well... <laughs> We were fucked. But enough about me. How was your day? Well, uh, yeah, I was all right up until about, you know, 30 seconds ago. Um, what the fuck's that supposed to mean, boyo? Um, I love you, Seamus. There's, there's no other meaning to that. Oh, I'm glad you love me, you motherfucker. If you backtalk me again, I'm going to smack you right in your blarney stones. But anyway, as you know, it's St. Patrick's Day was a little while back, and... As every good Irishman did, I drank myself into a mini coma, which is you should have done too. Did you do that, Mr. Patrick? You know what, Seamus? Yes? St. Patrick's Day can be a disappointment. How can it be a disappointment? You can drink until you can't I, breathe anymore. You, you know, but I wanted to, to have myself a shamrock shake on St. Patrick's Day, but they were out of them. Oh, not where I was. I yes. had three. That's fortunate for you, but seriously, the McDonald's here, I went there to try to get a shamrock. It was St. Patrick's, and they're supposed to have those shamrock shakes. Yes. And they didn't have them. They were out yeah, of What, what time shakes. did you go? I don't know. I think it was like one, two, or something like that. Oh, well, you see, that's the problem. My friend picked it up. He got it a little bit before noon, and he brought me a shamrock shake. <sighs> I had a shamrock shake from that McDonald's. And then I had two more from the one in Macedonia. Not the country, the city. Is there a McDonald's in the, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia? You know what, I'm not sure, but if you look it up on the internet, you know, YouTube or whatever the fuck you kids use these days, I'm sure you'll be able to find out. <laughs> okay, Seamus. Remember, if you're going to Google something, use Bing. <laughs> oh, Seamus. Well... As much as we love your contributions to the show, yes, we're, we're really we stretched. Her. We're really stretched for time here. Yeah, really stretched for time. Really stretched in the end. It's more like you don't want to have me on the show anymore. That's not, we, we we just have to have Hans, Seamus. We no, Hans. He can't do anything. He's German and a Nazi. What else is he going to do? He, he, he does the weather. I could do the weather just as good. Today's weather, shite. Yesterday's weather. Not a shite, but in the day before, oh, it was just like the lovely hills of home. Was it very flat to do it like to... Really? Okay, <laughs> Scott, help me here. We gotta get... Seamus, you, you know we love you and we support your drinking habit, but you, you it's time for you to go. We, we have a show to do and we don't appreciate you just barging in like this. You gotta have an appointment. I've been trying to make fucking appointments for weeks. You never returned my calls. My shame is shame. We promise yes. we'll let you be on next week's show if you you're will? asleep. Yes. You will? I can be on next week's show? Yes, but you have to leave oh. now so Hans can do... Sweet baby show. Jesus. Okay, thank you so much, boys. I'm going to go, and I'm going to tell my wife, and I'm going to tell my little retarded son, Timmy, who will just go like, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I love him all the same, even though he does eat my shoes. I like my shoes. Well, I'll see you boys later. Have a good day. Okay, bye Seamus. Hans, come on in. Ah, hello there. I was waiting because that crazy guy was in there and I didn't want to. He's fucking scary, let me tell you. So, oh, Patrick. Hi, what are you doing? Good. Oh, well that's interesting. When the other guy came in, you said, fine. You must like me a lot more than that guy. I think don't, he's don't a... say that. Why not? He seems like such a douchebag. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll just have to worry about Robot Scott. What? And 
anyway, since that Deutsche bag is now gone, we can talk about the weather. How does that sound? Good. Good, yeah. Okay, the weather today, it was in the, in the low 50s. It wasn't very nice. It really wasn't very nice at all. Uh, same thing with yesterday, but it was a little nicer yesterday. The sun was out a little more. You know, you can live with the day. You can live with it. You know, it wasn't like the day before that. Oh, my God! It was beautiful. It was so warm that my nippers, there was moisture coming out of them, and it wasn't lactation because I am a male, homosexual German, and I... Homosexual? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like, the, the, you know, the, the bratwurst, if you I, know what I mean. I thought, but, but Hans, aren't you a Nazi? Wouldn't that be kind of... Oh, didn't you know that there were gay Nazis? Have you never read the there, book there Night? Were, there, there, there were gay Nazis originally, but then on the Night of the Long Knives, Hitler got rid of them. Only the ones that would that remember Don't Ask, Don't Tell? They didn't ask and they didn't tell. Okay. Have you ever read the book Night? <laughs> yes, I have. You remember the, the gay guy who ran one of the camps? And he had the one little boy that was always with him? Do you remember? What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick. A sickness not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous or contagious. <laughs> the sickness was called homosexuality. Have you ever seen that, boys beware? I heard that once before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... Sorry, Frank! I went back, it was so nice. I got to visit Germany over the weekend because, as you know, I live here in Ohio for God knows why. I don't remember. I got very drunk one night and I ended up here and I was like, well, lost my passport, might as well fucking stay. But then I got it back. Anyway, uh, Hans. Yeah? Uh, would you tell us about Bucharest? Is it very fly like you do it, like you high like you do it, like you fly like you do it, like the woman there? Now, you see, normally it is, but today it's not. Not? It's not. Do you know, do you know why? Because it rhymes with hot. Fly like you do it. Like, like I'm trying, like, like I do it, it like, like a shy thought, like I do it! But that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> You've never shy thought like you did it before? Perhaps. Perhaps. Anyway. Did one thing about it. But uh, yeah, normally, but it, was, it, it, was, it was even colder than normal today. Wow. Which made it not so hot and not so amazing. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, you know, I see your face and there's not a thing that I would change, but you are amazing, just the way you are. That's exactly what you were thinking, and there's nothing else you could have possibly thought. Anyway, when I was a small child, I went up and I talked to Albert Einstein, that Jew, and anyway... Okay, Hans, I think we, we, should, we should have you... Don't you want to know how I taught him the theory of relativity? Okay, it's fine now. Okay. When I was a little child, people thought I was the savant, which I guess I was, but then I got hit in the head and then I turned into what I am now, which is kind of a psychopathic rambling lunatic. And so, when I was a small child, I would just be babbling incoherently, but Albert Einstein, he was the kind of man where if you said something, he would repeat it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, literally, he would repeat it. People thought that he was retarded when he was a small child because he would just repeat what you said. But no, it was him registering it in his mind so he would remember it. When I was a small child, I recited my entire theory of relativity, both the general and special theories, and, uh, son of a bitch stole it. Wow. Yeah! I could have been Einstein. You could have been Jewish, huh, Hans? <laughs> well, that's not get out of hand. I would have, you know, given the bomb to Germany, and we could have led everyone to, you know, the perfect world, where all everyone's, you know, blonde hair, blue-eyed, and everyone else got killed. But... Well, I don't think you have the, you, it would be uh, everyone being blonde hair and blue eyes. The Aryan race is superior. What, what, what about H H Hitler had black hair? Yes, he did, but you know what? Black hair and blue eyes. He did have blue eyes. Yes, but the reason he did that, he knew that the Aryan race was blonde hair blue eyed. He wanted to be the flag bearer that showed everyone the way. He might not have been Aryan himself, but he wanted to bring rise to the Aryan nation because he knew what what destiny was going to hold. So he, okay. being the only one who had enough charisma to brew it, because he knew he was, he took the burden upon himself to one day know that he would probably be a slave to the people because of him not being Aryan. 
He took it upon himself. But Hitler he was, was a true hero. Hitler was considered like an icon among the Nazis. Like you, you have to admit, even if you weren't German, if you were of Allied powers, you had to admit that man could give a speech. Perhaps. Very few leaders in history have been able to rally people like he did. True. So, in saying that, he was one of the greatest leaders ever. Well, so, that, anyway, but, but not, by, that, by that same logic, you could say Obama was a great leader. Uh, well, compared to who? <laughs> <laughs> If you're comparing it to, you know, George W., I, I think that you just say, well, well no shit, shut okay, up. Okay, now, come, come on, we gotta... Okay, continue. Jesus Christ, you can't even tell a good story. Okay, 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 who, who wants to be next? Bill, Yuri? No, come on, let me come down the door. Okay. No. I am, I am Draco's love genius. I am okay, to... you can come in first, okay. I'll just jack off. Okay, I, I am here to, to tell you about uh, the uh, the wonder of uh, Brekoslavian superiority. You don't say. You Americans confuse me. Have you seen some of the commercials that you do in your country? Well, yes, I'm American. I'm constantly watching TV. I know. That, that, that's how you stupid Americans are. But as I was saying, you watch on TV. I, 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 I was... I watched your your night nightly show a, a I, couple of days uh, ago. Late night with Jay Leno. N night night Jay Leno. I I think that it. And there was this commercial on, and this one girl talk about musician, and she said they have to be versatile. And I like in most other industry, you need to be able to pronounce versatile. I can pronounce it, and I am not. I do not even natively speak English. <laughs> well, well, clearly you're kind of bad at it. I mean, I mean, she is this how educated American girls are? That's why, that's why nobody wants American girls. Oh, everyone wants American girls because oh, no, they're whores. No. no, you no understand. Why do you think they have all those websites? Like I said, date Romanian women, date Bulgarian women. People do not want to be with American women. Even American men do not want to be with American women. Oh, that's a lie. Every man wants to be in it with an American one because we all know they're the whoriest of them all. As I was saying in my speech before I was rudely interrupted by this rude American. Ah, yeah, I, whatever. Whatever. What what about have you ever seen that uh, the shit American women buy? Have, have you, uh, uh, this other commercial I saw the, this this thing they call the uh, the trendy top. They they try to it it the premise of the commercial is that women should wear pants designed to show their ass and then wear this thing so as not to show it. Why would you wear a pant designed to show your ass if you do not want anyone to see it? You see, people do that because... Okay, women like fucking with men. I don't know if you knew this, Yuri. Women like to basically make a man seem like the lowest form of life on the planet below even, you know, microscopic bacteria. Because, they're like, you're looking at my ass. You must be some kind of pervert. No, you wore pants that accentuate your ass, so I'm staring at your ass. That's why I'm staring at your ass. Especially if that has words on the back. I want to read it. You can't put words on something and expect someone not to read it. If it says juicy, well, her ass says juicy. Why does it say juicy? I have to know. No wonder you Americans are illiterate. Illiterate. I can read it. Well, you can now, but tell me about your grandchildren. Well, my grandchildren, I'd say, might have a point. They're probably fucked. <laughs> but, uh... My children might have a chance, they might have a chance, depending on what career choice I go on. If I become, like, an author, they'll be more, probably more likely to go on a, a somewhat similar path, maybe a degree in English where they have to learn it. Uh, my gra my great gra my grandchildren will probably be a, they'll probably be useless and we'll have to throw them into an incinerator. But that's besides the point. No, but even if your grandchildren can't read, they still probably be smarter than most people in America by that time. But, Yuri, Yuri, I really think you, you need to go. We, we still have to get in Bill Cosby. Okay, fine, I leave. 
<laughs> yeah. But they will come back next week to share my philosophy on Draco's life superiority. Of course you will. You're just a special, special person. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Man, I'm glad that he doesn't understand this. Oh, God. Hey, hey, hey Bill, can you can you come in here, please? Oh, there's so many popping and hooping to do. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Bill. How have you two been doing lately? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Look at that! You knocked over the microfizzle! For yeah. shizzle, manizzle! Wow, that, that looks like... That looks like... Something. Anyway... <laughs> So, you want to hear about the sports? Yes. I'm going to tell you about the sports. You see, the black people playing basketball because they're the only ones who can do it good. You see, they don't fucking matter. Because we're going to talk about baseball, the sports for Latinos and crackers. So, the Brewers beat the Indians today 6-5, to five, which is not surprising. Also, that's about it for today. But there's other things coming up, such as the Brewers facing... Uh, no, no, the, the Suns beat the Cavaliers today, no, yesterday, 108-83, and the Cubs beat the Indians 6-2 yesterday, and coming up tomorrow, the Indians going to face the White Sox and get their dicks kicked, and the Cavaliers are facing the 76ers, which should be the 69ers. Yeah. sex joke. So... That's what I think the world should be like. I think you agree with me because, duh. Talking about football, that season's stupid. But the football season's over, Bill, and the football season won't start again until fall. That's why I said it's stupid. <laughs> and also, other games that have been played today. That like the game, game, which I just lost. God damn it, shit pissed fucking balls with my pudding. Anyway, the Suns beat the Cavaliers, as I said, and then Denver beat Minnesota, Utah beat Atlanta, Washington beat Boston, Philadelphia, no, Washington didn't beat Boston, fuck shit, okay, <laughs> just sports happened, and then the Holocaust, and then, remember when that one black guy beat out Germany in the Olympics back in 45? It was FDR was pretty pissed about that. No, he was pretty, he was feeling pretty good that that uh, Hitler was pissed though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where he's like, oh, Hitler's mad. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. What people want to believe, Bill. It is what the liberal media is brainwashing you into believing, so that Ron Paul can't victoriously win. Anyway. This has been a pretty fantabulous, hasn't it? Now, I don't know about that. I think it's been pretty splurblacious, though. Splurblacious! That's just another one of those words we use here on the show. Fantabulous, splurblacious. Bunnerific! That, that's right, bunnerific, Bill Cosby. But I, I, I swear, I'm not gay. I'm just a fetishist. Well, that's good, because we don't want you to be none of those fudgebaggers. Speaking of which, if you're a dominatrix who wants to be featured on our show, you are more than welcome to come in. You're more than welcome to come in here. Get it? Ha! <laughs> Zoop <laughs> boo Want to see my pudding pop? Okay, Bill, let's, let's take you out to the... Uh, oh, it's no fun. Okay, I'll go. Tell Rudy she's a whore. Anyway... As I was saying, uh, yeah, this has been pretty fantabulously splurblacious. Mm -hmm. It's been a pretty good show. And uh, what, what, where is our um, uh, website going to be, Scott? It's going to be at uh, Patrick and Scott Lost the Game. TK. <laughs> I lost the game. God damn it. Anyway, you have to say it, Scott. Those are the rules. I of the lost game. the game. There are three rules of the game. Let's recite them, Scott. Rule one. Everyone is playing the game. Rule two. If you hear the game, think about the game, or anything else about the game, you lose the game. And rule three. Penis. Rule three is, if you lose the game. You have to say that you lost the game to make other people around you lose the game. Exactly. 
which is bullshit. But that's just my humble opinion. Oh, I actually, Brian McTaggart, a, a guy is, who's friends with me on Facebook, Yeah. he posted a thing about like, winning it, and I was like, I lost the game. And then we had this whole dialogue where I explained to him what the game was. Poor Brian. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. I didn't mean to make you lose the game. Also, we're looking in uh, uh, moving our podcast. It's going to be on iTunes eventually soon as well. We're going to move all the episodes up on there and then update every week from there. Yeah, we're also going to get a Twitter. Mm -hmm, get a Twitter, and we're going to try and also get ourselves advertised on Earwolf.com, which is a host of many other podcasts, along with its own podcasts that it creates, which are very, very good, such as Comedy Bang Bang, How It Gets Made, uh, The Professor Blastoff, Mike Detective. There's a many, many great podcasts they put out there. Affirmation Nation with Bob Duke is probably one of my favorites. The guy who talks like this, and he has a lot of sicknesses and illnesses, and it's very, very sad. And that's why it makes me feel so good, because I'm not him. <laughs> so anyway, prepare for a very long hug. He says stuff like that, and he's just so sad. Give me a hug, stop. Here's your hug. I got a boner. Anyway, that's... Kind of it's <laughs> wonderful! <laughs> okay, uh, now we are going to play one more song. We're going to play another song. What is it called, Scott? What is it called? I don't know, Patrick. What is it called? Is it by any chance called what I think it's called? I think it's called what you think it's called. Well, in that case, it's called That Way by Narwhal. I believe it's the name of the band, and here we go! Narwhal's Penis!
welcome to the Patrick and Scott Show. Starring Patrick. And Scott. Let me tell you, Patrick, about what I had last night. I dreamed an impossible dream. I dreamed an impossible dream that I would run where the brave dare not go, that I would try, though I was wayworn and weary, that I would reach the unreachable star. I reached the unreachable star, though I knew it was impossibly high. I fought with my heart striving upward to a far unattainable sky. But that's what I did last night. <laughs> okay. That was a very interesting way of starting off this segment. <laughs> yes, it was. And speaking of interesting segments, we have a very nice one coming up. Uh, I hope it's not Camp Cheerful. No, I hope it is Camp Cheerful. Please say it's Camp Cheerful. It's Camp Cheerful! Yay! Yay! I heard someone talking about that the other day. What? I don't remember what context, but someone was talking about like the actual camp, Camp Cheerful. And I started laughing to myself. They're like, it's not funny. That's a cap for handicapped kids. I'm like... I'm like, I'm not laughing about that. Sorry, I had my ear... I had my one earphone in, so I was able to blast off. Like, I was listening to a comedy album. But I was laughing because our segment's about rape and killing people. Chip, chip. Why, don't you, why didn't you tell him that? Well, because I didn't want to get killed. <laughs> oh, it's not... You had a chance to advertise the show, and instead, you went and had sex. But these... Well... Yeah. I bet that's what you did. Isn't that what you did? Pretty close. See? I knew it! So please enjoy your camp cheerful penis! I gotta tell you, Counselor Eric, these deep fat fried chicken wings with lard flavoring are just to die for. You think that's something, Counselor Frank, for the sea? You should see my giant three pound hamburger, which was fried in ten pounds of trans fatty oil until it all seeped in, and then the grease was used to make up these fries. You think that's bad? I'm drinking tab. Oh yeah, well I'm drinking sugar cola. The only cola that is so it has so much sugar that it can, that it can barely be liquid. Oh yeah, well I'm eating asbestos fries. They're oh, so yeah, delicious. Well, I'm eating. Wait, what the hell's going? <laughs> Who's that imposing black woman? I just walked in. And... This is a private establishment, ma'am. I'm Michelle Obama. Why do you I sound have... like a man between the ages of 19 and 23? I have come because you are eating those food items. Now I will hit you with this ironing board. Clang! Quap! Sla! King! <laughs> you mean! Why would you do that to me, God? You're the last lady in my heart! I'm gonna cut you! I call you the I don't think that you can cut me, Counselor Frank with a C. For I am Michelle Obama. What do you mean? My name's Counselor Eric. What? I do not understand you, Counselor Frank with a C. No, no. I, I'm, I'm Counselor I, Eric, and I'm gonna cut I'm you. I'm Counselor Frank with a C. And I'm Counselor Eric, and I'm gonna cut you, you bitch. Let, let, let's, let's go, let's go, and uh, work with the kids, Counselor Eric. Wait a minute, I need to shake this bitch. Chink! I okay. got you, Michelle Obama, you little whore. It won't kill you, it'll just hurt you. Hello, Timmy. It's me, Counselor Frank with a C. You're not Counselor Frank with a C. You're Counselor Eric, you dumbass. I'm not Counselor Eric. Yes, I'm... you are. You don't cut me, I swear to God. Okay, well, well, what you need to do is, 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 is go, go, take a dunk, and then, and then shower and clean, clean out your asshole, and then go, go, to, go back to your room and... And You're scaring me! This isn't normal! You're the counter I don't appreciate you doing this! See? 
There are really bad things happening in my life right now, and all I can hope for is for the very it's least. It's okay. I know Counselor Eric is hurting you. No, but no, I, no. Counselor you Frank listen to me. I have something important to say. Just because I'm a child doesn't mean I have nothing important to say. The only thing I can ask is go hit me. You can. Uh, I'm not going to hit you. I'm going to have sex with you, Timmy. You don't understand. The only thing I can hope for in this camp is at least for, you know, the same repetition. Now you're changing shit. Do! Oh, Timmy, you are so ridiculous. Go, go, go talk to Counselor Eric. Okay, you fucking weirdo. Hey, Timmy, how are you doing? Counselor Frank with a C. I gotta tell you, Counselor Eric's being fucking weird. What do you mean I'm being weird? No, 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 Counselor Frank with a... No, you don't seem to understand. I'm Counselor Eric, and I'm going to cut you like a bitch. You know why? Because you're just spreading horrible, horrible lies. <clears throat> That's right. If you don't stop belching right now, Timmy, you belched very manlike, and I think that was nice, but you better stop it, or I'm going to shank you like a bitch, just like I did to Michelle Obama. I wonder why he ran. I was just gonna cut him like I always do. I don't understand either, Counselor. Wait, wait, wait you, look, you look like me. And you look like me? Oh my god, when Michelle Obama hit us with her co-op, clang, sh look, and everything else, we must have... We must have switched bodies! That's... not good! No, it's not. We gotta... Okay, there's only one reasonable way to do this. Remember how she hit us in our heads? The only way we can switch back is if we hit each other in each other's nuts. That sounds painful. Yes, but if you think about it, we switched when we hit our heads, and so if we hit our other heads, we'll be back. Uh, can't we just stay in each other's bodies? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't like the idea of, you know, you raping kids in, in my body. I, I don't like it. No, no, you don't understand. You see, my my body's clean. It's just I just cut people and hurt them and abuse them. I don't like the idea of you, you know, right? My my penis is clean, and I'd like to keep it that way. I'd like to remain a virgin. Thank you, so I can go to heaven. So thank you very much How for switching back. How are you going back. to go to heaven by uh, cutting kids? Shut and... up, Kami. On the count of three, let's hit each other's testicles. One, two, three! Ow! Oh, God, Counselor oh. Eric, why did we do that? Ow. It worked! It did! Timmy! Timmy, good news! Wait, no. Good news? What do you mean? No, not you. I mean new, new Timmy. We <laughs> already talked to you. Yeah, what you want? We switched back. You switch back? From what? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, we figured that... Wait a minute. Maybe we didn't mean Timmy. Whichever Timmy we mean, come here. Can you come here? Come here. Oh, guys, what's going on? New town room. What the fuck's going on? New town room. What we... We switched back. We're in our normal bodies again. You are? Hooray! Does that no, mean you me and he'll rape me? Yeah! yeah that's, that's right. You're gonna... It's gonna... Everything's gonna be back the way it was. Hooray for keeping things the same! Wait, hooray! What? Hooray for Camp Cheerful! Hooray for Camp Cheerful! Hooray for Camp Cheerful! Hooray for Camp Cheerful! Where we will rest all the boys and girls in the world! Camp Cheerful! I love that song! Fuck you, niggas! Uh, hello, welcome back to the Patrick and Scott Show. Starring Patrick. And Scott. Oh, I love that segment, man. Camp Cheerful. Oh, uh, And, uh... What did you just say before, Scott? What did I just say before? <laughs> that people could be learning about Camp Cheerful. 
Yes, they could. They could be learning about Camp Cheerful right now. And you're, that's, a, it, that's like a pony hypnosis? Or? Yep. Look at my pony hypnosis. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Let me tell you, one day you will be sad and you will be alone. And oh, everyone you know will be dead star. around you. But there's one bright shining star. It is the one thing I always cling to in this world whenever I'm feeling sad and alone. Do you want to know what it is? Why? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna be holding this microphone nice and close to me so it demonstrates a more personal moment to the audience. Let me tell you, audience, whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I feel like there's no hope in the world, I turn to alcohol. Let me tell you, alcohol is a man's best friend. They might say it's the dog, but no, they, they jump on your nuts and it really hurts. Alcohol is a man's best friend, because it will never jump on your nuts. It'll cause someone else to jump on your nuts and have your penis in their vagina, and then it'll be great. But what if they're ugly, Scott? You know what? When you're drunk, they look beautiful. So, alcohol makes people beautiful. Point. I never thought of it that way, Scott. It's a whole new way of looking at the world. That's true. If you drink 24-7, like you just have an IV going into your arm with okay. alcohol. Girls, before you look at me, you should drink. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, you're a good-looking individual. Don't worry about that. But, but, but I could should be drink. even more good-looking. You could alcohol. be like Fabio. Yeah. I could be really, really good-looking. And then... <laughs> Let me tell you, audience, if you don't turn to alcohol, it'll turn on you. Mm-hmm. And also, you think you're going to get laid one day? You got to drink them up, man. Or else you won't have a chance because that alcohol, it gets rid of your inhibitions. It gives you confidence you didn't have before because it makes you less of a pussy. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, in, in, in the end, it's, it's all about... Uh, how, how should I put this? It's like, all about the money. It's not about the money. Money, money. Oh, it, show me the money. It was, you it, show me the her money. Birth, her birthday was this week. Whose? On, on a Tuesday. Whose birthday? Jesse J. Jesse J. She has the same birthday as my grandfather. Except 59 years later. You know, Patrick's grandfather wrote a, made a very interesting game that we saw today. Like the game I, which I lost? When yeah, I, yes, I like lost the game that you lost. It was called Initials, I believe. Yeah, we, it's very interesting. We can't give all the details just it, for yeah, we, purposes we of in case he makes it. But it was very interesting. Very yes, interesting. yes it was. And, and we uh, did spell computer wrong. You, you probably don't want to mention that on international radio. Well, on the bright side, it was a very nice game, and you should all buy it. And I lost the game. And, what, is, <laughs> and okay, what, what else do we want to say, Scott, about... Um, I, I know there's something else I want to say in this life about, uh, about how uh, there's... Uh, well, Patrick, let me tell you. You're, you're the only boy in this family, right? Yeah. So you you could and and you're probably the favorite, right? I wish. So you're the favorite son. Well, of, of the sons they have, I suppose. Well, you see, there's a it's our theme is musicals. The American Idiot, the musical, had a song called "Favorite Son." Mm. And let me tell you, you hit the ground running. At the speed of light, your star was brightly shining. Like a neon light, you're his favorite son. You're the favorite son. Yes, you were. Okay. <laughs> what about, uh, what am I trying to think of? There's... You know what? It's never going to be in, a, in this part of Ohio because there's so much light pollution. Starry nights, city lights coming down over me. Okay, but what about the, uh, the, 
Didn't we do that already in our Green Day episode? Can, can we do something from like a real musical? Are you saying it's not a real musical? It, well, it's a real musical, but I was thinking more like, you know, in the, the traditional theater genre. Fine. Okay. Let me think. See, now you put me in a tight spot. I can't think of any... You see, I do musicals all the time, yet I can't think of a fucking goddamn thing right now. What, uh, what about... Uh... White Christmas. That doesn't count. It's from Holiday Inn. <laughs> Let's see. What about uh, the where I go when I go there no more shadows anymore only men Golden fins, the rhythm in them, rocking with them to shore. That's from a musical. It's yeah. called Touch Me. And it's funny because I was masturbating earlier. Yeah. Let's. What about. Oh, I know a song from a musical. What? When you sunk into the deep blue sea. <laughs> <laughs> but. It's, it's from Leonardo and Dippendorf. Yes, but if they know all of it, they'll come, they'll steal it. Scott. They'll steal it. It's not stealing if it happens on the internet. That's an international rule, which is unwritten because... Well, they're trying to fix that with Peepa. Down with Peepa! Down with Peepa. Shut up, Michelle Obama. Okay. You're not, I was supposed to be playing Michelle Obama. No, no, she was here. Oh. <laughs> anyway, but... Let me tell you, I had a dream last night, Patrick. I had a dream that someday we will live in a world where my four children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That's right. And still, it's never changed. <laughs> People are still judged by the color of their skin and not by the content of their character. Except now it's different, because usually it's from, you know, reverse discrimination. Where black people will get better jobs. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think it's a great way of making up for it. Except in the fact that sometimes, you know, and I'm not going to How, how is that even possible? How can you possibly say that? Uh, you, you know, affirmative action? Well, it's real. And it happens. Not just in, like, jobs, but also but in colleges. That's, that's, that's of course that's a bad thing. They're, to favor somebody on the basis of the color of their skin. But they always did talk with us too. Like we we had the benefit. But that's right not. Today. But we but we didn't have it. We're not responsible. We, yeah. Not us personally, but our people. Uh, Let me tell you, Patrick. I had a dream last night. Yeah, listen. My my ancestors were just as much slaves as they were. Okay, except it was like you know temporary for the purposes of. My my ancestors were poor uh, immigrants. They were they weren't plantation owners. They, and remember, Jews were slaves before. And they were, were and then after that, they were working class Northerners. While Africans were relaxing in Mesopotamia, Jews were slaves to the Egyptians. That's true. Exactly. So you could say that at like about any point in history, and be like, at one point, sometime these. This group enslaved this group. We're not supposed to say, okay, therefore it would be okay for the Jews to keep Egyptian people enslaved. You know what I mean? That, that's crazy. It's not. That doesn't justify addition. I mean, they, they finally got it good where everyone's equal, and now they're trying to fuck it up with. That's true. You know what season it is right now, Patrick? The season of. Uh, what season? Spring? Springtime for Hitler and, and Germany. Germany, winter for Poland and France. Yep. <laughs> we marching to a fast Look oh, out, here comes the master race. Let me tell you, Patrick, last night. God, I dreamed there was an angel who could hear me through the wall. And she cried out like in Latin, this is so not life at all. 
help me out uh, of this nightmare. And I heard her silver call. She said, just give it time, Tid. I come to one and all. She said, give me that hand, please, an itch you can't control. Let me teach you how to handle all the sadness in your soul. Let me work that silver magic, and we'll aim it at the wall. She said, love may make you blind, kid, but I wouldn't mind at all. That's a song about masturbating. That's nice. <laughs> anyway... What other songs from musicals do we know? Uh, let's see. We should do one from White Christmas. Uh, we could always do. We can even do like one of the other ones from White Christmas. The best things happen while you're dancing. <laughs> one of things you would not do at home come naturally on the floor. I'm trying to. I what I was doing. <laughs> Has there ever been a musical about pirates? Pirates of Penzance. No, I mean pirates like who download music. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about a group of people who dress up as pirates to protest the laws against downloading music? Which we should do. We should, like, go to, like, Hollywood and stuff, and like dress as pirates with all that like pirate garb and like. But Patrick, we'd be the only ones. We'd be on our own. On our own, with no one there beside us. All alone, while the police treated us brutally. <laughs> they would mace us, yeah. and then they yeah, would spray it. us because they that's used not, actual maces not, and broke not, all of uh, our bones. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that isn't the actual word to do with beautiful. Be <laughs> cap? Yes. I know what they say about Jeff. Don't. They say that they're Mormons? They are the army of the Church of Jesus Christ of oh, Latter day Saints. <laughs> Two by two, and today we'll know who will make the journey and where we'll go. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> but, Scott. You and me, but mostly me, are gonna change the world <laughs> forever. Cause yeah. I can do most anything, and you can stand next to me and watch. Scott. Yes. Wait, you know what else is from a musical? What? America, fuck, fuck yeah. yeah! Well, that's just from movie. That's from a movie musical, though. Well, yeah, you know what's from a movie musical? Musical within that. Everyone had AIDS. Do, 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 do. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. See, that's from a musical called Lease, which is like Rent but better because what? it's comical. They should, have, they should have a musical called Bye about Mitt Romney and his family, <laughs> and they'll be like. They should have a musical about Mitt and Romney and no, 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 no they they'll, be like, they'll be like, they'll be like, ah, I'm just like everyone else. My team of five tailors sews my dance on one thread at a time. I'm just like everyone else. They should have Rick Perry the musical, <laughs> and they should have at least one of the scenes featured at his favorite relaxing country club. You know what that's called, Patrick? What? <laughs> You know what it's I called. I know, but I'm just asking for the sake of the show. Niggerhead Ranch. <laughs> I heard someone do a rap about that once. It was freaking terrifying. I heard someone do a rap about Sopa and how why you shouldn't pass it. Sopa fucking sucked. That's it. No, you should really, um, uh... Sopa rap? No, it was like an anti-Sopa rap. It was... Yeah, but it, it's really, uh... You know what we should do, Scott? We should... I wonder what the rates at Niggerhead Ranch are. We should take a vacation there. Is there, a, is there a, a musical song about taking a vacation? Um, there should be one. I, like I have, I, I can think kind of, but I can't Scott, remember. Scott, wait, no, no. You, we, <laughs> Scott, you're, you're doing. Wouldn't that be perfect, Scott? Scott, I just had an idea. I know what show it's from, but I can't remember the song. It's from Blood Brothers, and they go on vacation and they leave. And there's a song, but I can't remember what it's called. 
damn it. God, it's such a good show. See, it's about two twins yeah, who are yeah. separated by... It's so good. One of them is raised in a poor family. And, and one of them is raised in a woohoo family. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 you know, he's raised with the Perrys. And... Uh, <laughs> With vacations every month to Niggerhead Ranch. <laughs> okay, well, what? Let's say they were. Let's say they were singing at their ranch with a very racist man, and then it it started raining. Well, then they would just be singing, singing in the rain, just singing in, in the rain. rain. Yes, feeling happy again. I'm laughing in the doubt. So knock it up. The song's in my heart. And I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I've a smile on my face. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain. Singing, singing in the rain. <sighs> yes, Patrick? I think it's about time to say goodbye. Yes, and I will do it in the form of another musical. What's that? Is this going to be like a really... Wait, wait, no, no. I know. So long, farewell, have either, either saying goodbye. goodbye. It's actually not that one, though. Really? It's from... What, what do you want to do, Scott? We, we, we gotta kind of hurry here. We don't want our fans to get tired of losing the game. I lost the game. Patrick, why, why would you do that to them? These poor people are constantly losing the game, and you're just making it worse by making them lose it even further. You see, that's un-American. That's it's something that uh, Obama would do, and that's just... Was uh, well, not Obama. I don't want to be that mean. His wife. She is a scary individual. Like she, I heard she that. wears the pants. Right. Oh God! Why do you sound like an adult from the ages of nineteen to twenty-three? <laughs> but uh, yeah, this this is this is a song that touches very close to my heart because it was the first actual musical I music directed. I did like like one thing before that where it's just like a like a kind of cabaret kind of thing, and it was just a bunch of songs different music. But this was the first actual musical that I did it for. It's not the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, is it? It is the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. And this is a song that it really kind of touches close to my heart. Is that, I, I, I do not think that like is like really like... I'm surprised it's like a successful musical. Like that's kind of... Well, it, it, like a lot of the songs are kind of like a joke. You know what I mean? Yeah, but on, on the other hand also, it's a very easy show to do. And it's, it's, it's songs are catchy. But are they Leonardo and Tip and Taro good? Well, I wouldn't say that, but it, it has a good enough following that you could you do well doing the show, you know what I mean? But Scott, it's not about the money. It, it, it's about at least breaking Wait, it. I can do that song because, I, because we're going to rescore Ward to it. So, <laughs> I can... It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need the money. That would be a great idea, and you know it, Scott. Yeah, it will. If you want to do like the song, you should do it for you because we're. I can't help it. We're, we're gonna have over an hour plus the skits. Like we're we're gonna have to probably cut this as it is. Uh, well, I mean, we could always cut what we're talking about right now. Yes, we could, but I, I mean, it's got to look at I mean, I, I'm just going to say, like, So long, you will be missed. But now go with dignity. This ends, but first on our list. You will go with pride. You've been the best. 
Look at care we've had, oh yeah. You're the smart kid yet too. Now get the fuck out. This podcast is over. I'm about to say the last word here, and the word is penis. <laughs>